Hi, this is Jim Entwood with archive.org, and today I'm going to talk about what happens in archive after an author submits an article. So uh, author uploads an article with the files, the metadata, they select a license, propose a category, then some stuff happens to it, and then it appears online. A little bit about timing. Submissions come in uh, between 4 and 2 p.m. are announced at 8 p.m. that day. And except for Fridays, where papers come in before 2 p.m., get announced at 8 p.m. on that Sunday. And that time differential is when archive staff and moderators do most of the work checking out submissions. So one way I think about it is we've got a fire hose of new research coming into archive, and we want to keep the signal-to-noise ratio high enough so the daily announcements that are posted are of interest to professional researchers in the field. And those professional researchers are our primary reader base. Who's doing the work? Primarily volunteer moderators. These are subject experts in their field. And we have 206 of them who are um, internationally based. We also have our team of Stein Sigurdsson, Archive Scientific Director. Uh, there's myself. Amanda, Jake, Kim, and Rebecca on our team, as well as some Cornell students that help us with the effort. And one way I think about it is we're trying to do a certain number of papers at a certain speed and trying to meet our quality assurance and service goals, all with the resources that we have. So that's kind of trying to find this balance of uh, speed and quality and scale as we go through uh, this process. So I think of it as casting a net over this fire hose of papers, and we want to catch things that are inappropriate content or things that need to have corrections be made. One type of check that we do is around classification. So authors select a primary category when they submit and possibly secondaries. We have some automated tools that help authors uh, get some feedback about their categories and also provide feedback to our moderators who are making the, the primary final decisions about classification as papers flow through the system. We're also checking for moderation content. This means, does the, the article being submitted meet the standards for originality, novelty, or significance that we want to have uh, for of interest to professional researchers? There's certain content types that we don't accept, uh, primarily things on archive are research article content types. And there's various other checks we do, for example, uh, checking for excessive verbatim text overlap. We also have technical checks. This is kind of what our staff focuses on, and those are validating the metadata. We have some manual as well as automated tools for that. We have an expanded set of uh, software that checks the full text of articles for certain requirements. We screen things like copyright on PDFs and look out for various content types that might or might not be accepted and ensure that contents have, uh, papers have the right editorial content, such as references and are of sufficient length. This process takes some time and sometimes a quick decision is not possible. And in that case, we put submissions on hold. Usually we resolve those issues within 48 hours, but there are cases where things uh, sit on hold for many days and typically anything involving an appeal takes quite a while while we work it up the chain through the moderator um, process. One thing about this, this balance is that sometimes things slip through the process, uh, slip through the net and get posted. Archive is a permanent repository. So even if something gets posted that shouldn't have been accepted, it's there permanently as, as part of the repository. The only time we remove content is if the original submitter didn't have the legal right to deposit that work. Our team also provides technical support, so authors who need help with their LaTeX debugging um, or to fix metadata, if there's a misspelling in, in an author name, for example, in a paper, people will contact us for help with that or help with their archive accounts and we're averaging about 2,000 requests per month. We also assist users with moderation issues. If there's an extended delay, we'll check in on papers on behalf of authors 
We also handle our appeals process and things like author disputes through uh, archive moderation support. A note about scale. I've been with archive for about seven years now, and the number of papers has doubled over that time. We've been able to do that without doubling our staff by um, having more automated checks. A lot of what we do uh, are parallel asynchronous checks currently in archive. And um, that allows us to do some speed, but it also adds some, some extra effort. And we want to more and more over time automate things. I also want to make a note here that in addition to new papers, we also get 400 to 50, 1,000 other types of submissions per day. Those include replacement versions, cross-listing category requests, journal reference metadata updates, and withdrawals. This is a snapshot of the workflow that our user experience specialist, uh, Shamsi Brin, helped us put together. It covers all those things that I've just talked about in finer grain detail. And again, all of this is kind of currently happening in parallel asynchronous things involving a lot of staff time to, to run reports and follow up on, on items. Going into the future, what we want to have is a, is a recursive process with a submission system, with automated tools, metadata validation, full text check, so the authors are engaged in improving their, their manuscript and meeting the archive requirements for submission. And then that way, when it goes on to the moderation process for our moderators to look at when they, they consider the novelty and significance and classification and those kinds of things, all, all of that other kind of technical quality assurance pieces will be in place. So that's the direction we're eventually going in. In conclusion, uh, I want to say thank you to the authors for trusting Archive with their content and sharing it with the world. I want to thank you to the moderators for helping curate a steady stream of quality research. And thank you to our advisory committees and advisory board members for helping the, ensure the moderation process is all running smooth and we're getting feedback from the community uh, to con continue to evolve uh, and improve the service. And uh, also thank you to the librarians, partner repositories, and um, data partners that provide enhancement and feedback to continually improve the archive metadata.